Anaka Camp in northern Uganda. More than 20,000 people live here, cheek by jowl, uprooted by the 20-year conflict between the Lord's Resistance Army and government forces. It's a place of desperation and simmering tension. To break the boredom and monotony, people often turn to drink and drugs. Sexual and domestic violence is rife as residents seek an outlet for their anger and resentment. To break this cycle of despair, the UN Refugee Agency is using sport to bolster the self-esteem and health of young people in the camp. Here we're looking at promoting gender equality. And uh, when we're look, looking at sports, we're giving power to the, the youth. Now the one thing is that how do they use the power? Because uh, gender-based violence is about abuse of power. So sports is quite an interesting aspect of you know, approaching uh, prevention of gender-based violence. Since 2007, UNHCR and the International Olympic Committee have been working together to engage young people in the displaced and refugee camps in sports projects which help them address gender-based violence. This year, projects started up in Uganda, Kenya, Panama, and Venezuela. But the focus is not just on young men. Young women and girls weighed down by their household tasks are often left on the sidelines. But in this project, they're encouraged to play football. It is hoped that this will foster a culture of mutual respect and confidence as they work together towards a common goal. On the one level, uh, the team members themselves have pledged to change their behavior and to challenge uh, some of the, 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 the gender issues that uh, promote violence. So in a sense, they are working individually towards uh, not being violent themselves, but also promoting it from their families, and that means in the society. During the halftime break, the teams also convey messages to the football fans about nurturing greater tolerance and how families should break some of the traditional roles and share household tasks. Off the pitch, the team members not only practice what they preach, but endeavor to persuade others to change their behavior so that gradually the culture of violence in the camps will turn into a culture of respect. <laughs> Sports may seem to be an unusual approach to reducing sexual and domestic violence. However, the messages of respect and tolerance that are reinforced on the field seem to transfer effectively into behavior change in the home. The UN Refugee Agency and the International Olympic Committee are working closely together to expand these projects to other refugee and displaced communities around the world.